Vig is not only a former number one player in global for multiple seasons, but he is currently a pro player as well for Tribe Gaming in 2022. We talked about all the things you need to become a pro player, starting with the skills you need to become one. So basically the skills I would say that you need is obviously all of them. In order to achieve, I guess, your greatest skill set or like the greatest version of yourself when it comes to competitive play is obviously mastering all sorts of skill sets. So this is obviously gun skill, there's teamwork and like there's mechanics and everything. I, I think the main thing that you need to focus on first is obviously yourself as a player. If you yourself as a player don't feel really too comfortable with yourself or like too comfortable with your skills, obviously going into a team won't really be the best situation for yourself or the team because not only are you letting yourself down you're also letting your team down which means not only you're going to make yourself look bad but you're also going to make your team look bad and obviously you don't want to you know join a team just to make them lose not only is that bad for your team obviously but it's also bad having that feeling inside your head that damn like this is my fault mm -hmm. and that just completely demoralizes you from playing both competitive or the game itself so i would say obviously working on yourself uh, as a player first is good so like that's obviously the mechanical skills the teamwork skills the i guess overall communication part of your set or whatever and then obviously going into the side things when you join a team is obviously important as well you know during our conversation vague mentioned a pro player from north america jesus saves as a glue guy from his former team goofy goobers so i asked vague if it would be easier to enter the pro scene as a guy who could do it all yeah so the reason why i call jesus the glue guy is because like you mentioned obviously uh we I, I call him a hybrid player but a hybrid player is obviously someone that can do everything now i'm not saying he can't do everything but he can do a lot of things that some players can't do like he can control the team's uh, I guess emotions he can control how the team feels after a loss he can like keep them intact and keep the composure mm. he can snipe in SND he can gun if he needs to he can play OBJ when he needs to he can be the IGL when he needs to he can do everything what's something that people don't know about pro players here's what Vague had to say this is the common, I guess, uh, misinformation that people have on pro players. And that's that everyone thinks that we play every single day of our lives and like every single minute, second, hour, year, everything. That is not the case. Mm. We do not play as much as you think. The only time I even play is only when I'm trying to get a video or if I'm trying to do some scrims or tourneys. I don't play for like 10 hours a day. I would say I mainly only play for like maybe like two to three hours a day. And then even people like people, other people beside me, they don't even play two to three hours a day. They play probably less than that. Yeah. Because obviously, like I said, whenever I do get on to play, I also make videos and not that many people are content creators in the pro scene. So that's probably the one mis uh, misconception that people do have on pro players. And that's the amount of time we spend on keeping our skill or even playing the game there was one thing i had to ask vague about obviously you're you're one of the better players in the game with the movement and the aim uh with that i just wanted to ask what's better to learn first movement or aim uh me personally i think the main thing you should focus on first is obviously gun skill because gun skill kind of cancels out movement because if you have really good aim and really good gun skill you can trace really well whenever people do all of these like movements or like these extra stuff that yeah. really isn't necessary so let's say someone runs up to you does this zigzag stuff in, <laughs> in a circle 360 obviously if you have good aim you can like trace them really well and like probably hit every single shot and besides there's people that like stand still like statues and just aim and shoot and they do pretty well in the scene obviously one of them is tech like i mentioned before he does little to no movement at all besides slide peeking and he still yeah. as he still gets the attention he needs just by standing slow and shooting so obviously gun skill is the first thing and then movement is the second thing that you should focus on because obviously you're going to be needing that movement to get out of sticky situations and maybe even churn on someone really well by like i guess make their crosshair kind of weird whenever you do all these sorts of movement and they can't really align their crosshair with you so yeah to answer your question gun skill is the top priority whenever you, it does come to this kind of stuff i also asked vague what's the best advice he can give to aspiring pro players and he brought up something that no one in the competitive scene really talks about aspiring pro players all right uh one tip i can give to you guys or even advice well i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i, I don't mean to like 
make anyone feel bad or anything but with how every comp scene is especially call of duty obviously there's a lot of egos going around and if you don't have the right connections or the right attention or i mm -hmm. guess the right friends you won't really be recognized as a future pro player in order to become recognized obviously you have to put yourself out there but even putting yourself out there won't really be enough so yeah. i would be like i would say like start off small don't have this like big idea in your head that you're like oh if i beat him in rank i'll be recognized as this great player uh, or like oh if i like talk to him or like try to become friends with him i'll have an opportunity to play with him and maybe if i even do better than him i'll do good so it's more so start off in the small tourneys maybe you know do some inners then you sign up for these like small tragic msk uh tournaments and then work yourself up because when you go from the small tourneys then you start making it to the bigger ones like mobile mayhem for example everyone yeah. knows mobile mayhem as the biggest tournament right now besides champs obviously and once you get the recognition that you deserve and that you think you deserve that can lead to you signing up to these even bigger tourneys like champs or whatever you need to put in the work to qualify and make sure everyone knows that you are the player that you want to be known as you know so aside from destroying moves in ranked matches or putting up content try to join teams any team at all and try to shine and work your way up sadly it's not about what you know it's about who you know What's the most basic thing that you forget to do? Here are vague notes on what you should know to do in game. Yeah, the one thing that people would forget is either giving out comms or rotating. Now, to speak on both. Now, the giving out comms one, obviously when you get into the zone, like you're just fully focused, sometimes you might forget to like give a call or two. Or like when you die, you don't give out the call because you're either really tilted or you're so focused into the game. You're like, oh, like, oh crap, I didn't give out the call. Which not only is bad for yourself, it's also bad for the team. Because let's say someone's ring in raid and you see someone kill you from pillars but your teammate doesn't realize that you got killed from pillars and he just runs up towards mm. let's say laundry steps and kill you uh, kills you basically not only is that bad for your team but you also lost both control and two lives which means they get full control of p1 which could end up leading them to get more points over you in a hard point match but it could also lead them to maybe even getting the win which is basically a loss for everyone the second thing that people forget to do is obviously rotate now rotation is really key especially in hard point usually pro players and pro teams you usually like to rotate around 20 25 seconds from the new hill the reason why rotation is important because obviously you want to go for spawns and if you don't get the spawns that you want from the next hill it's it's a higher risk for them to getting more points in a hard point which ends up leading to a loss in the interview i had with image the coach for tribe and lacus for 2021 champs he said that vague is one of the best players in the game right now of course i had to confirm this with vague do you believe you're the uh, best player in the world i Here's my view on that. Uh, this is my honest view, by the way. I think people have their own aspects within the game that make them the best. I actually talked to Bolu about this. We're like, okay, who's better, Bolu or Tech? Who's better, Jez or Slothy? Who's better, Bolu or Veg? Now, the thing with that is no one really understands this, but everyone looks at stats. Yeah. Now, the problem with stats is that there's a misconception with it because when you look at stats, they always think, oh, the person with the most kills is the better player or the person with the most kills is obviously the better fragger or whatever but the thing is people have roles obviously there's slayer role the obj and then these anchor now with call mobile i wouldn't really put them into roles because everyone does the same thing it just depends on who's picking out what but for example myself i am i would say a slayer and if i need to pick up the obj i'll pick it up but the key word there is a slayer thing that means i get the most kills and i should be getting the most kills and after every game i'm obviously going to be looking as the better player since Compared to everyone else, I'm going to be having the top most kills out of everyone in the lobby. Now, the thing with that is they don't understand what's going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, we have Bolu IGLing and telling us what to do. Then you have Jez anchoring spawns, which is key. Because if he wasn't anchoring those spawns, I wouldn't be getting those kills that I would have gotten compared to him not anchoring. And then you have Sothi obviously being the Slayer right there too. And then Marshy obviously being the main OBJ, just holding them off for me to have time to rotate or even get those kills that are, you know, pushing him into a hill. So in terms of me thinking or me giving you my suggestions on who's the best player it's kind of a sticky situation i would say because there's a lot of good people there's a lot of good players that are similar in skill but it just comes to the point of who's better and what and obviously one example i'm going to give you before we do end this off is me and bolu uh we talked to, uh, about this together and bolu personally thinks i am the better fragger slayer and overall player talent wise but in terms of an overall player 
as in like an IGL, a comms guy, you know, just a player itself, Bolu would be the better overall pick, mainly because he brings more to the table. But me, on the other hand, I bring more to the table in terms of slaying power and just a player itself to get control for those spawns or get control of those, I guess, I anchor points because of the kills I get. So it's more so what category you put people in and doing that would take all day because there's so many players and so many roles to be filled. So it's kind of a, you know, hard topic to talk about, you know, especially with like everyone's ego getting in the way and all that too, you know? What do you think? Who's the best player in COD Mobile right now? Let us know down in the comments below. This is the second half of a two-part interview with Vig. Click this video right here where we talked about how to master playing on a phone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.